Do subscribe House of Commerce for more lectures. So in the first lecture we would like to discuss about what is accounting. Accounting is an art of recording, classifying, summarizing and interpreting results thereof in terms of money. Now the question is what is recording? Recording means to jot down any sort of action or work carried on within the course of business and then to classify it as an element. Now what is element? We shall discuss it later on in detail. Then to summarize it and interpret its results in terms of money means that we have to know how much money has been received or paid during the course of business. Then moving forward to the elements of accounting. There are five elements, namely assets, expenses, liabilities, revenue, and owner's equity. These are supposed to be the language of accounting. If you got to know accounting, first you have to know all these five elements completely. Now let's take a look on the first element, the what is an asset. Anything that qualifies the following condition is called an asset that it must be owned by the entity second it is an economic resource of the entity means that it gives the financial or non-financial benefits to the entity then the third one is it is with or without physical substance and it is expected to be used in the future now Let's take a look on all these four conditions. When I'm saying that it is owned by the entity, it does not mean that it must be possessed by the entity. As you know that there is difference between possession and ownership. Then, economic resource of the entity means, gives the financial or non-financial benefits. Means, if a, f a machinery is producing some products it is giving a financial benefit to the entity and if the fans are something that is not producing anything which can be sold by the company although it is important to be installed in the company then it is a non-financial asset but it is owned by the entity and it is giving some benefit to the entity therefore it is supposed to be an asset with or without physical substance with physical substance as you all know that we can see and we can touch even and without physical substance means those assets which are owned by the entity like goodwill and softwares and all that which cannot be seen or either touched but they are the assets of the company how we shall discuss it later on and all these are expected to be used in the future there are two types of assets number one is current asset and the second one is non-current or fixed assets current assets means which can be used within one year for example cash in hand cash at bank accounts receivable notes receivable merchandise inventory prepaid expenses accrued income or income receivable and supplies cash in hand means the cash laying at company it is clear that it can be called as an asset because it qualifies all those four conditions discussed before then cash at bank means the cash laying at bank as we have discussed before that there is a difference between the possession and ownership. Although this cash is laying at bank, but it is in the ownership of the entity. Therefore, the entity classifies it as an asset. Then, coming to the next examples. Accounts receivable and notes receivable. Accounts receivable means the payment to be received from the borrower or the customer. Notes receivable means the payment to be received against note in writing provided by the borrower 
or the customer that he or she will make the payment on the this and that date to the company and the payment is collected accordingly on the date specified in the note so this is also an asset because although this money has not been received yet but it is owned by the company merchandise inventory means anything which the entity carries the main business of is called the merchandise inventory of the entity according to international accounting standard 2 in case of retailer assets held for sale in case of manufacturer raw material working process and finished goods all are inventory now let's take a look of both of the cases as you all know that in retailing business the retailer deals in the products produced by any other manufacturer therefore anything which are intended to be sold and which are purchased to be sold all are merchandise inventory for the retailer and in case of manufacturer as manufacturer produces its own goods and sell it out therefore all the goods which are to be produced means raw material which are in the process of production means work in process and which are ready goods means finished goods and are to be sold out all are inventory for the manufacturer for example if the entity carries the business of dealing a furniture then the furniture will be inventory for the business and the rest of the assets will be classified as normal assets in the books of the company in a nutshell anything which is the main business of the company is called merchandise inventory for the business prepaid expenses prepaid means the payment made in advance first we got to know the why prepaid is said to be an asset for the company because it qualifies all the conditions of being an asset how let's take a look the cash or the payment which has been made in advance by the entity is under the ownership of the entity until the benefits for which it has been paid are availed then it provides the economic benefits to the entity the payment which we are discussing about then the payment is with physical substance that we can see the cash and it can provide the future benefits and it can be used in the future for example if a company has paid the rent in advance for the whole year and not yet consumed all the benefits of living there the rent paid in advance is an asset until those benefits which it is paid for have been enjoyed by the company therefore prepaid is said to be an asset now let's take a look on the other type of assets non-current or fixed assets means which can be used for more than one year now this is subdivided into two categories number one is tangible asset and the other one is intangible assets tangible assets means which can be seen or touched and intangible assets means which cannot be seen or either touched tangible fixed assets as we have discussed before that those assets which can be seen and which are useful for more than one year are called tangible fixed assets for example land building furniture and fixture plant and machinery equipment these are the types of tangible fixed assets because they can be seen and they are useful for more than one year intangible assets as we have discussed before that these are the types of assets which can be used for more than one year and cannot be seen or either touched for example goodwill patent 
trademark, logos, prototypes, and softwares. These are all assets for the company. Now the question arises that why these all are assets for the company? Because all these qualifies the conditions means they are under the ownership of the company that no other can claim the ownership over it and no other is authorized to deal in it then they produce the economic benefits for the company and they are without physical substance and number four they are expected to be used in the future therefore these all are assets for the company as well